Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to create a yum repository server. Okay, I have my VM running 7.2, I'm going to create the repository, I'm going to make this as a rep my repository server. Currently I'm in uh, one of the folder opt repos php 7.0 where I have already downloaded a few packages for php 7.0. I'm going to create a repository with these packages. Okay. Uh, if you have a, a website where you have the RPMs to be downloaded and to be cloned to, uh, to your local, you can use this uh, wget command. I have already done this and uh, I'm just going to create the repository in the from where I have downloaded the packages. Currently I'm here, I'm going to create repo, repo since I'm in the same directory, I'm just keying dot. Okay, now if you see, we can see one more folder we have created which is repo data. Here we have the repository database. This is the repository database from where yum is gathering the information. Okay, where you can see the repo md.xml. Okay, so we have created the repository. Now what we need to do is we need to configure this repository in, uh, in, in I'm, I'm going to do in uh, locally. Uh, first, first I will do uh, locally on my the same server okay and I'm going to configure the rep yum repository this is the same what we do for yum configuration okay so I'm opening a file I'm just copy pasting this since I don't have any changes I will explain this this is the this is my repository PHP 70 local I named it because I'm don't I'm uh, installing it locally I'm downloading it locally so I made it at, as local and the name is php70 underscore local base URL here we, we specify file why we, we mentioned file is we have this repository repository locally on the same machine so this is a file path and this is the path where we have the rpms and the report data and here the enabled I'm enabling the repository and gpg check putting zero okay I'm not doing any gpg check let's save this file now just check yum repo list let's see our repository is available yes we have the repository just do yum clean all and do again okay we have the we have our repository here which is 7.0 let's install php from this repository then yum install install php php i just mentioned php okay okay it's as asking for confirmation yes no so, so all these packages php these are the dependencies it has been already taken from the same repository all are from same repository and all these packages are from php 70 underscore local i'm just giving yes now it's running the the installing the packages and its dependencies okay that's all we have completed the installation of php 7.0 from the repository we have created let's check the version yes we have 7.0 okay thank you guys that's all what we do uh, what we have done is we have enabled the repository locally on the same machine what i will do in the in my next demo is access new newly created yum repository from remote host using http so i will be installing an http web server and will be installing the packages remotely on other servers okay guys thank you thank you for watching have a great day bye bye